Dear Professor, first of all, hello. I am very happy and uh, excited to be here today. I hope everyone is healthy. And uh, this is a very important presentation for me. I want to start the presentation with a little warning. Please keep your social distance. Don't forget to wear your mask and obey the cleaning rules to be protected COVID-19. Now that I have given my social message, I can start my presentation. I think the main thing that makes uh, this project so valuable is social vision. So today I won't talk about too many technical details and figures, etc. Uh, all of the technical information is available in my thesis with his uh, with its uh, details. I'm going to try to explain the problem today then how to solve it with simple and understandable way. As you know, 180 million people have been caught with COVID-19 so far. The whole world has started working to end this pandemic. We thought, what can we do as engineers? By the way, this photo is from my internship period. <clears throat> we decided to make a platform, of course, with your help. Our main purpose is to save time for doctors in pandemic, in this pandemic period. We want to design a system in this project. When you upload the tomography's photo to our system, it decides whether the patient is COVID-19 or not. The result will be shown like this. So how can we do that? We can design this platform's backend with Inception V3 deep network. Inception V3, we can think of this, uh, we can think of this deep network like a radiologist. This doctor is getting an education about the diagnosis of COVID-19. He is learning where to look on tomography. And he is looking at special points at X-rays like this, like here, like here. He learns where the disease is. He learns how to detect the disease comparing healthy and COVID-19 x-rays. I downloaded <clears throat> these uh, images and algorithm of the Inception V3 deep network on github.com. This data was open source and anonymous uh, to protect the privacy rights and individuals. Also, these images must be appropriate to the inception V3 form, like says, rates, numbers, etc. Um, we need a lot of balanced data for this training process to be successful. So this is uh, how inception V3 works. Comparing you as you, as you see now in the on the picture, comparing healthy and COVID-19 X-rays like a doctor, it makes a prediction. According to the formula in the GAE, uh, GV function, activation function, according to G function, we say. So are these predictions are accurate? So is it 100% correct? Answer is no. So are there any other ne deep networks like Inception V3? Of course, yes. <clears throat> Actually, there are three deep network also we can use except Inception V3. These are ResNet 15, VGG 16, Exception, and our deep network algorithm is Inception V3. However, you can also see clearly Inception V is the most successful one you can see the results of this from this table. 
Finally, I am using Python for these trainings. Uh, I choose to use Python because it's open source and very common use. Uh, it has very common use, useless. Open source, it is open source and very common. We need some libraries for training deep learning algorithms. These are Flask, TensorFlow, Matplotlib, NumPy, OpenCV, Python. We can't start training without these libraries. These libraries, because of these libraries, is very important for us. And I, I haven't started uh, training yet due to some problems in my computer, in my graphical cards, but I'm going to start these trainings in the next semester. I aim to complete the next term training and finalize the project. Thank you for listening, Professor. That's all.